we are filming this at Turtle Bay in downtown Reading, right next to the Sacramento River. And the reason we're doing this is because my ancestors are living right here where we're standing for thousands of years. In the early 1800s, the settlers moved them out and they moved up into the hills. But the Wintu people have lived right here and on, there's a village site on the other side of the river. It's fenced in and it's protected. And when I was a little boy, my grandmother and my great-grandmother would take me over there and tell me, your ancestors and your family used to live here. And so when I go over there, I look around and I see there's artifacts and there's things in the ground, there's shells, because they used to get shells and there's fish that came up the Sacramento River. And since we're next to the Sacramento River, uh, we use that as our focal point of the people. And the doorway to this, this house, the original doorway is facing the river. And the reason it's facing the river is to the Wintu people wanted to say, this is My where life comes is from. Chala. The Sacramento Chala river means good. If you say Chala Beskin, that means I wish you a good day. So Chala Beskin to you, E2. That means, and you, I wish you a good day. Are you having a good day? You say the E2. That means hello. In Wintu, when you say hello to somebody, you that's a proper hello. Have you ever heard people saying, hi, how are you, and they're off walking around? Well, when you say hastem to somebody, you have to look at them, and you care about them. When it's not just saying hello, the original exhibit, was that 10 years ago, 12 years ago? Anyway, uh, the reason we're here is to honor my ancestors. A young man and a young gal would see each other and the elders would go okay and then they would go and they, they would go home because they met down here for the salmon festival and twice a year they would do the harvesting of the salmon and take it back to their villages and people from Trinity County which is maybe 50 miles west of here and people from Mount Shasta would come down here and the young people would meet each other and they would go back and tell their elders, you know, I want to go back in the springtime. I want to go back in the fall and hook up with her. Well, the elders would get together and go, you know, her village needs a man. So you need to go fish and hunt for her village. Or the elders would go, we, we need a woman here to grind the acorns and help with the other chores around here. So the elders would decide which village the people lived in. The young people didn't get to decide that. 